Jumping Kids supplies and maintains prosthetic equipment for kids. Uh, we do it because we know that with the equipment the kids can essentially do whatever it is they want to do. The important thing is to actually get them to go back to mainstream schooling so that they can progress with their education and uh, get to a stage where they can go to university, have an education and uh, build a future with that. You know, if you're disabled and you miss out on your education, which happens a lot unfortunately, then your options are very limited. We met Sandile about six months ago and we met him through One School at a Time who are an organization that support the school where Sandile is and they saw him and then they contacted us and then the two of us came together to, to sort out the prosthetic legs. Um, luckily it's, it's been a story that's had a lot of good chance encounters and one of those then was in uh, with Joe Public and with Nedbank and they picked up the, the story and said that they wanted to support that and uh, it's evolved into this Comrades Marathon one mile event. The tangible outcomes and, and what we are really thrilled about is how far Sandile has progressed. You know, if, if you had seen on the first day when he walked in, well, rolled in in the chair, um, to now, it's, it's a different world, you know. We have a, a, a young man who's developing good confidence, uh, he's developed strength, he in six months has essentially learned to walk again and, and building himself back into, into a, a young, confident citizen of the country. So, so that's the tangible and that's the, the stuff that we really uh, like to see. The real story for me in, in Sandile's story is that there was no access to equipment for four years. So for four years he had to make do with the wheelchair and being trapped in a situation that was very fixable. And now that we have supplied the equipment, in six months we've gone from you know, understimulated, lost, to I'm going to be a part of the Comrades Marathon and help other kids. And that's an amazing shift. Um, so that access needs to be available to more kids. You know, our belief is that no child with an amputation should be without equipment, because if they have the equipment, then anything is possible.